Yes, keep that going and welcome to the stage, Mark Devine! Sorry, hello folks, you okay? Oh, oof, dropped my eggs. You'll find out why I've got my eggs in a second, right. Um, I found a copy of the Runcorn News the other week on the train. Is anyone here from Runcorn? Oh, they're all at home shagging their sisters, probably. <laughs> there, was a, there was a second dildo attack in Runcorn recently. Yeah, I don't know. The first dildo attack was from a coach. From a coach, a hen party threw a dildo out the, out the window. It cracked the window of a car windscreen up behind. The kids in the car were devastated. Apparently the kid turned around to his dad, said, Dad, what broke the windscreen there? Eh? The dad fought quick on his feet, went, it was a sparrow. The kid says, I'm amazed it can fly to the size of its cock. <laughs> the second one, best man on a stag do. Hit on the head by a flying dildo. <laughs> he had a six inch gash in his head, spent all evening in casualty. He says he wished he'd saw it coming. I bet he fucking did. I <laughs> was close. Other news. Police were called to um, a family kickoff in Holton Brook. A brother kept trying to tickle the feet of his sister's new baby. I know, yeah. The problem was the baby wasn't born. Ooh. He's probably the dad. Right, I got some, uh, could you just hand out a couple of cream eggs, please? Just hand, don't they are real cream eggs, hand the cream egg out. Just see how big they are, I wouldn't eat them. Just hold them and just pass them around, just, just see how big they are, right. A local legend called Bruce Patterson from Duncorn has recently died. He's just, he just had a, a candle vigil for him. Right, he's, he was made a local legend for back in 2015. He was able to push nine cream eggs up his bum. Nine? I know what you're thinking. How does someone know they can do You look the type. How can someone put nine up their ass? Five, four? No. His sister said he found out by mistake. It first started with marbles, then Star Wars figures, before the nation's favorite confectionery, cream eggs. Yes, like them. So you can see how big them bad boys are, can't you? Anyway, he turned his back on fame and fortune from Runcorn and went to work on safari in Africa. This is where he died in the Zimbezi River. The canoe he was in, it, it sunk. And he was eaten by a 30-foot crocodile known locally as Snappy. Yes. I just wanted someone to be able to interview this crocodile Snappy. Asking Snappy, how do you eat your... Bruce Patterson's of this world. Anyway, I tried last night. I could only get them five cream eggs up my arse. <laughs> Bring them back, please. <laughs> oh, you haven't eaten them, have you? Oh, melted. Oh. <laughs> growing up, though, um, it, it was hard growing up. I'm one of seven kids. We didn't have a pot to piss in. It was just, we were so poor. Um, my stepdad used to cut me hair. He fucking hated me as well. I had two hairstyles growing up. One had a head like a bear's couch, like Mo Salah. That was me winter cut. In the summer, I had a skinhead. He did it with scissors. When he finished, it always looked dead tufty. All I needed was wear a pair of striped pajamas and I looked right off Schindler's list. <laughs> I'm just true story. But he did hate me because I put his, I think I flushed his, his head cold watch down the bog when I was a kid. Um, and I remember once, I broke a window in the, in the house. I always break in windows. And he come over in the pub pissed, like he always did. And he grabbed me by the arm and he smacked my ass across the, across the living room. Don't break fucking windows again! And all I was doing was kind of jump every time he said, fucking don't fucking break windows. He was a lovely fella, lovely fella. He wasn't, he was a cunt, he was a cunt. Oh, he was doing, he was doing a good job, was he? Yes, yes. No, but so I mentioned Schofield before. We had that lemonade growing up as kids. We'd, we had green cream, so, cream soda. We didn't have real Coca-Cola. It was one off from Roller Cola. It was made by Schofield, which if it was out today, it'd be banned, wouldn't it? Who wants to chug on a Schofield nowadays, eh? 
Oh. Um, what else happened when I was a kid? Apart from, yeah, don't want to talk about that really. Bring the mood down. <laughs> no, growing up though, we had a thing in, um, in school. It was called Kidscape, and it was um, only fronted by Rolf Harris. Yes, it was basically you, you, your body's your body, you rule your own, and let me rule mine and stuff like this. Honest to God, and he used to say stuff like, if you see strangers in a nice car, um, they might be offering you puppies, uh, cuddles, and loads of sweets, you used to run away. And I was like, what? You're messing on you. Later that night, I was strutting my stuff down fucking Park Lane. Take me, take me. Anyway, you've been a lovely audience, and have you got my cream eggs back? Thank you very much. Good morning. Mark, goodbye, everyone.